Hi there, friends and adventurers. We are on a nighttime adventure for a change. I am going to be doing something for the very first time tonight, and I am bringing you with me. Um, I'm going to be sleeping at my very first truck stop overnight. So let's get going, and I'll see you when we get there. One thing I wanted to mention is look how cool my moon phases look even at night with the headlights and the traffic lights when you go under them. I'm telling you, big fan. Okay, bye. Alright my friends, we are at our resort for the night. Exciting time. Your destination is on the right. Thank you, Greta. That's what I was just saying. Literally. Alright, I'm seeing a few promising spots, but to be honest, I'm gonna park right up front here first because I need to pee. And then I also want to get something to drink because the store was out of my seltzer. So, BRB.
Alrighty, I think, I don't know if that tank right there makes noise. I know that that van is going to be there. I think, that I'm going to park right here at the end. currently debating a couple of other spots. I don't want to crowd anybody else. There's a pickup truck backed in and the windshield is already quite steamy. So I have a feeling that they're probably already asleep, but I don't want to park just two spaces away from them. I was trying to give everybody kind of their buffer zone. But that would be a corner spot right next to a trash can. I'm currently backed in two spots away from the big giant propane tank that says no smoking near it. So that makes me a teeny bit nervous, although I do have my carbon monoxide detector. I prefer to stay on the front side of the building, although I could scope out the two sides. And I don't think that there's many vehicles between the really large van um, down at the end and this other vehicle. So if there's enough spaces between them, I might just pull right in between those two cars and then there would be enough spaces on either side. So, I'm trying to choose wisely. I do kind of like being just backed up to this road. Um, there's just like a ditch and then the, the road that you turn in on, so. I think that's a good spot and I think having the bright lights in front of me, um, nobody would really even pay any attention to if they saw a light or movement or anything. Um, although I am going to put my window covers on here in a minute. I'm just sitting with my lights off for the time being. I do think I'm going to do one more quick loop around just to make sure. There's a lot of cars parked on the side, like where the food is. And then the trucks are on the back half. And then this goes around to the left based on the drone footage that I looked up online before choosing this spot. Which dead ends so that you can't get through to the truck spot that way and the trucks have to come through on that side. So I think I might just kind of loop around and then come back and pull in if I like it. And then if I don't, I can always come back to this spot. But that one is still centrally located, just a little more off to the side. So I think that might be a better fit. TBD. I'll check back in with you once I've selected my final spot. Okay, I've selected my final spot. I have a box truck in front of me as well as an RV. Um, to the left of me, I have a large van that you'll see in a minute. And three spaces over is another vehicle. So I'm hoping that they're okay with the fact that I got in between them. I figure a three space buffer on each side between us is acceptable. And as you can see, I have a lovely lighted view in front of me. So in the morning, I'll just pull around, get my gas, and then, um, I might go in there for my cup of coffee, my first cup of coffee, and then just make um, make one a little bit later in the morning. I think that's what I'll do. I'll go in there and get a cup of coffee, use my creamer. 
Oh no, I forgot my milk frother again. Why do I keep doing that to myself? It's horrid. Oh boy, I'm so spoiled now. But yeah, anyways, that's the plan for now. So I will check back with you when my window covers. Oh, let me show you. I don't know if you can see. I tried to get clever here and install them ahead of time. So that all I would have to do, <laughs> well, it perhaps worked better in theory. We'll see how it goes on the passenger side from here. My plan was to just kind of slide it over like a little curtain, you know, so that I wouldn't have to get out. But it doesn't seem to want <laughs> to cooperating because I didn't do it very well so maybe I shouldn't be tooting my own horn. I'm pretty sure that would have gone smoother if I had just put it up fresh instead of trying to get fancy with it because now it's going to be all over the place when I go to open the door later. Oh well. It's going to get the job done tonight guys. <laughs> These are the, the, the struggles of stealth when you don't know what the heck you're doing yet. <laughs> My last experience was at a Cracker Barrel and there was like really nobody in the lot, so I was not too worried about it at all. I think I'm gonna try to do the whole shebang this time and actually climb into the back, so we'll see how that goes. I might let you I might keep the film rolling so you can laugh at me, <laughs> but first I'm going to go ahead and close that one up, and then instead of having this tucked in the back like I normally do at camp, I had it up here already so that I can just put that up, so all of that's going to be a little noisy, so I'll be right back after I have those up and then um, I'm climbing into the back. All right, guys, wish me luck. I know you can't see me, but I, for the most part, have my front window coverings all the way up. So I'm going to climb over my hot logic here into the back. I've got the doors all locked. All right, I've got pretty good coverage there. To squish the hot logic, but I also don't want to move it just yet. But I can use easy access to my tissues. I'm gonna need my tripod back there. This is probably so boring for you guys since you can't see a thing that I'm doing. moved up to the top in case I need to access anything from it. So I can now reach anything that I might need up here while I'm back there. So I guess now is the best time to go for this. lighting is still not great, but we are successfully in the back now, and I'm going to finish putting up the rest of my window covers, so I thought you would like to <laughs> join me on that journey. Alright, as you can see, I keep them tucked 
in and already it's so much darker now that I just put them on up. Can you see me a little bit still? Once I get all of these up, I'll put the bright light on and then I'll show you my little treats that I got. Not really treats. I think it was just drinks and stickers. <laughs> you know me and my stickers. My lovely view of the gas prices, in case anybody was wondering. This is the car on that side of me. I can tell they're already settled in for the night. shadow puppets at all. There's my bunny rabbit. <laughs> oh lord, I'm so sorry. It's late. This is this is what you get late at night with me. Um, it's about 11 o'clock right now. I am pulled in to my spot here at Love's. I've got my window covers here, here, here from the weather tech. I've got my weather tech up front. And then I have just my magnetic curtains this time. I figured since I'm kind of in a parking lot area and it's not very wet and it's 52 out, that the little crack in the windows, I don't need to worry about mosquitoes, hopefully. So I just have my magnetic curtains up so it's not quite as um, blackout as it normally is with the screens, but I didn't want the screens on the outside if I didn't need them. I kind of figured that was a dead giveaway. Not that the weather coverings aren't, and not that it matters because it's clear that other people are here sleeping. But, you know, it's my first time being here, so I'm being overly cautious. Ooh, I'm already getting a little toasty. I think I'm gonna change out of my sweater for my jammies. I've, um, I think what I'm gonna do first off is get my fan going, get my dinner going. My um, food I was reheating here in the Hot Logic on the way over. It's been a little over an hour and it feels pretty hot, so I actually think it's ready. So I'm going to eat that really quick put my back window cover up, get into my pajamas, and then see what's up. All right, I will check back in when I'm a little more settled. But so far, so good. I feel very comfortable here. I like the location. I feel very safe. The employees seem very nice that are working right now. Okay, take two. <laughs> I have my little clip-on ring light on my phone now, so hopefully since that one's charged, we'll be okay for now. I, um, as you can see, still need to cover that, which I'm getting ready to do. And I was going to make mashed potatoes, but to be honest, I don't want all that steam coming out of my car right now since the parking lot's kind of crowded. So I think I'm just going to have like cheese and crackers with my main dish instead or something exciting like that. It doesn't really matter. I'm hangry. I have not eaten very much at all today because I've been working and then I had to convert Tara, and then I filmed a video, I edited another one. Um, yeah, and I didn't get off work until after 8, so 
it's been a long day. <laughs> so I'm ready to relax. So I'm just gonna dig into my food and then I will check back. All right, let's get this last one on here, shall we? you guys. Alrighty, let's check out my loves all, shall we? So like I was trying to tell you guys, um, inside, I went to order seltzer water at Publix with my groceries and didn't get them said they shopped them, but I did not have them when I got out. So I do have plenty of water, which is mainly what I drink anyways, but I did want to get a couple of drinks. In the meantime, I feel like I need something bubbly since my throat is extra scratchy today. So I got a root beer. And then these were two for four, so I got the green tea. And then these are gonna be breakfasts and lunch. I'm gonna use one of the hard boiled eggs in my salad for lunch tomorrow. And then I'm gonna have one for breakfast in the morning with my bagel and same thing the next day. So yeah, I figured that was a good deal. It was only $2 and they're peeled, hard boiled, good to go. So I actually might have one of those now since I don't have potatoes or an official side. I know that's kind of weird. Roast with a boiled egg and some cheese and crackers, <laughs> but hey, that's all right. You do what you gotta do. And then, I went a little sticker crazy, but they have the prettiest stickers in here. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. I think I'm gonna put that on my pretty um, cup that I'm actually gonna pour my root beer into here in a minute. And then the other two are gonna go on my fridge for sure. Pisces. You really can't tell how cool they look in this lighting. And then Tree of Life that's got like a lot of chrome on it. It's really pretty. So I think I'm gonna put those two on my fridge. That's my plan. I think they'll kind of go with the other stickers that I already have on there. So I will do that tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to dig in so that I'm not hangry and so that my stomach isn't shouting over me, which you hopefully cannot hear right now. All right, I will be back for the rest of my stealth nighttime routine at Love's Lay Love's Chalet. <laughs> That's what we'll call it, chalet loves. All right, be back in a minute. Good morning, friends. I didn't check back in with you last night, but I don't think you guys expected me to since I suck at doing that. <laughs> I think you guys know by now that I always end up falling asleep. <sighs> I slept really great. The truck noise was kind of just like ambient noise coming and going. Um, aside from that, it was very peaceful. Oh, I shouldn't have turned on that bright light to film. Oh my goodness, it's blinding me. So I think I'm gonna, like I said last night, I think I'm gonna grab a coffee, maybe when I go into pee. 
but then again I might end up just making it when I um, get to my destination this morning so we'll see I'm definitely gonna go in and pee though because I gotta go anyways I just wanted to let you guys know that it was a very peaceful sleep and once I get myself gathered here I will check back in with you for a wrap-up on my final impressions of sleeping at a truck stop. <laughs> hey look you guys, I ended up with a water view still. <laughs> so you can see that's where the main road is. I could have slept a little bit further back, but I kind of liked being between a road that had a little bit of traffic all night and then the lights of the gas pump for my first time here. And with my weather techs, I didn't really see any light at all inside anyway. hotel loves I appreciated it well you guys I have to say that was actually I think I'm turning left here yeah okay of course the one time Greta doesn't tell me <laughs> um that was a really good experience I felt very safe the whole time it was very quiet aside from the traffic noise but you know for me that's like ambient noise that doesn't bother me as long as there's no loud ruckuses <laughs> so it was great I had the bathroom right there it was well lit so I knew if I needed to get up in the middle of the night for some reason it wouldn't be an issue But yeah, it was, um, I would highly recommend. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on my very first time sleeping at a truck stop. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. And if you're not already subscribed, maybe consider it so that you can see all of the other first time experiences that I'm going to be trying in the next year. I have a long list of things that I've been dying to do, like make my very first campfire finally, um, try out my hammock, use the tailgate hatch tent that I bought over a year ago and still haven't used. Um, there's all kind. my first time going to a nude beach, there's all kinds of things that I have not done yet that I plan on stepping out of my comfort zone for this coming year. So make sure you stay tuned. But for now, I am going to get back to driving to our next location where I will, of course, be sharing more adventures with you from. So as always, thank you for watching and I will see you again on the next adventure. Bye! way if you guys really want to laugh at me for a minute <laughs> this is how off my game is when I leave somewhere at night apparently so you know I like to fill up my tank before I go anywhere and have a full tank well I have like half a tank right now and the place that I'm stopping at initially tonight before I move on tomorrow is not far at all <laughs> um so I have plenty of gas to get there. And it's a truck stop. So I'm sitting here in my head thinking like, oh, God, I'm going to be even more delayed because I got to get gas before I head out. Um, like I can't just get gas in the morning at the truck stop I'm sleeping at when I wake up. Oh, Heather, Heather, Heather.